oh my gosh, Dogecoin is up huge right now. Dogecoin is about 26, almost 27 cents. But look at this. Dogecoin is up from the bottom that we announced in the Patreon, 63 percent big things are happening right now for crypto there is some awesome and amazing news that i must share with you so stay tuned if you're new to the channel my name is miles and every day i make videos about cryptocurrencies and dogecoin and i teach you all how to do technical analysis so you don't have to lean upon anybody i also watch the news and the charts all day so you don't have to so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss these time sensitive and important videos i'm also giving away 250 doge this saturday to one lucky winner each week i give away dogecoin and all you have to do is subscribe to the channel like the video put something in the comments and follow my instagram and twitter and go ahead and smash up the like button dogecoin is popping off if you want to continue to see dogecoin pop off you are a dogecoin holder go ahead and smash the like button and let me know in the comment section below are we going to continue to pump because this pump is strong remember dogecoin was going down more than every other crypto everyone's like oh my gosh why is dogecoin down more than every crypto because it pumps much more than other cryptos dogecoin is a different animal when it comes to crypto it has some of the strongest support and community in the entire world out of all cryptos so look at this crazy news that has come out I have a bunch of really good news, but look at this guy. I don't think he's very smart. He says the crypto price alert. Ooh, it's a crypto price alert. JP Morgan issues serious Bitcoin warning as Ethereum, Binance's BNB, Cardano, XRP, and Dogecoin lose billions of dollars. Oh my gosh, JP Morgan, the same people who are buying Bitcoin and these same cryptos they're saying to stay away from, they're saying you guys should stay away. These cryptos are losing billions of dollars, guys. Don't get into them. But the funny thing is they issue this warning right before the option and the futures contracts that they're involved in. Is this market manipulation? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Stay away from this guy, Billy Brambo. Stay away from these people that are saying, oh my gosh, it's going to zero this and that. The same people that say these things are shorting cryptos. They want cryptos to drop. That's why they print these articles. They wanna take your cryptos from you at a cheap price. They are the ones who are buying these dips and accumulating right now. That is called whale market manipulation at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. But let's go ahead and move to this very, very bullish piece of news. And look what it says. Bitcoin hits 35K after Biden reveals the infrastructure deal. But the most important part of this article is this Paraguay proposes Bitcoin bill. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, just a week ago or a couple weeks ago, El Salvador came out and said, look, we are going to be receiving Bitcoin as our legal tender, which means it is going to be our currency so that all of the businesses in El Salvador, 90% of them have to accept Bitcoin in under 90 days. Um, that is huge. So when they said that, a bunch of other countries around the entire world, each and every continent almost, saying, okay, we're going to look into doing this as well. This is a very smart idea. And here was Paraguay. They announced a day after they said that they were going to think about doing it. We have Mexico, we have Brazil, we have countries in Africa. But look at this. They have already submitted their bill to make Bitcoin their legal tender, their, their, their legal currency. So that if you go to Wikipedia and you look at the currency of El Salvador, you will see Bitcoin is their currency. So the same thing will happen for Paraguay. When you see the currency of Paraguay, you will see that it will be Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen. This is huge. These countries have billions and trillions of dollars, ladies and gentlemen. But the most important part is the billions and trillions of dollars need to be put into Bitcoin to accept it as legal tender so that people can do exchanges and legal things with these cryptocurrencies. So billions and trillions of dollars are about to be flowing into cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin in this instant, which will bring Dogecoin up to the moon. This is incredible news. And ladies and gentlemen, let me also remind you that these are not going to be the only countries to do this potentially by the end of the year. It's only been a couple of weeks when El Salvador said they're going to start doing this. It's already been at least 10 or so countries coming to say they're going to do the same thing. So the most important part of understanding this is if this continues to happen by the end of the year, we are going to see a massive chain reaction, potentially hundreds or maybe a hundred countries by the end of the year. And what about three to five years? Maybe it will be almost every country who will potentially do this. Who knows? What are your thoughts on this? But if this does happen, this will bring Bitcoin to millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands. And if this does happen, 
at a rate like this, Bitcoin could be potentially hundreds of thousands, two to 300,000 by the end of the year. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. It's just my opinion. And I'm quoting a lot of financial analysts. I'm quoting a lot of experts who are in the industry, who are in the finance industry, people like JP Morgan. Uh, you know, some of these big institutions were coming out, you know, a few months back saying Bitcoin is going to hit 500K, 300K, this, that, and so forth. But if we see this massive adoption continue, which it will, that's the whole thing about cryptocurrencies. That's why we're investing in cryptocurrencies, because we see the future potential in cryptos. We see this massive adoption just beginning to take place as we're seeing so many retailers. There's like thousands of retailers, retail stores that accept Dogecoin now. And it's going to be more widespread in a year from now, two or three years from now. So when every store that you can go to, Walmart, Wendy's, McDonald's, they're accepting Dogecoin and Bitcoin and all of these cryptocurrencies, what do you think that's going to do to the price if they have to buy it and hold it? It's going to bring the price up to the moon. And ladies and gentlemen, the moon is no longer our goal. We don't need to be going to the moon. No, we've already landed on the moon. We've been to the moon. But we need to start thinking about not only Pluto, not only these far away planets. No, we need to think about other solar systems, other, other galaxies. That is what is in store for cryptocurrencies. The thing about the stock market, you invest in the Apple, you invest in these country, these companies, they can only go up so high. Yeah, they can go to maybe a couple trillion dollars a company and the stock will be worth X amount of dollars. But cryptocurrencies, there are no limit. Cryptos can move just like uh, Dogecoin moved 12,000% in a short period of time. We can see other cryptos do that and much more in the years to come, especially Bitcoin. Bitcoin could be potentially, who knows? I mean, what about Dogecoin? Dogecoin could be potentially thousands of times more than what it is worth now in the future, especially when you see this massive adoption. But most important, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and dive into the price. And if you want to get my daily trade alerts to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, join the Patreon, which is linked in the video description below, where I can help the coach you, build your portfolio, teach you technical analysis. You can talk to me on the phone and much more. But look at Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen, just a textbook definition, an inverse head and shoulders textbook. This is a big play about to potentially happen. And if we zoom in, we can see this playing out on a two hour, even the four hour, potential four hour, a small looking inverse head and shoulders. That is a huge reversal pattern potentially about to play. And if this does happen, this would shoot us to 42 and above if we do see the bull run start to happen again. And I think the bull run is going to start happening again here very soon. Look at, we have Cardano about to blast off. These cryptos are kind of forming the same exact patterns. Ethereum is being suppressed a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie to you. And that is because Ethereum has these huge futures contracts that are keeping the price down. But once that expires tomorrow and once we get out of this bearish month, we could potentially see some incredible bullish action, especially for Ethereum. We have these huge updates coming out next month for Ethereum. So I'm definitely buying. I've been buying Ethereum for a long time. I can continue to do so, especially before this thing takes off, which could bring Ethereum potentially to twenty to thirty thousand dollars by the end of the year. Most importantly, let's look at Dogecoin. Dogecoin is just seeing this very bullish momentum. And generally, when you see a lot of green like that, there's got to be a time to cool off. But the thing about it is we have these option contracts, these futures tomorrow. There's a bunch of stuff coming in the works and we have countries accepting cryptocurrencies at their legal tender. We have Elon Musk's birthday coming up in just a few days. We have Tesla potentially going to be announcing that they're going to be accepting Dogecoin for their payments. So Dogecoin is still at a very cheap price despite pumping up a lot. Yes, we are at a very cheap price. And if you were to buy now, yes, we could dip further. We can go further. But also, what about 90 days from now? Where will Dogecoin be? And you would be thinking to yourself, well, yeah, man, even though it bounced up to 26 cents, look, Dogecoin is at 70 cents. Dogecoin is at $2 right now. Whatever it is at the time, I wish I would have bought at 27 cents, this and that and so forth. So definitely might be a good time to get into some of these dips, which I will be announcing in the Patreon. So overall, Dogecoin is looking very bullish, but we are coming up to approach this level of resistance at the level of 28 cents. I told you previously in my video today, which you definitely check out if you haven't, we're going to come up and test this level of resistance most likely. If we can break past this, it will shoot us to the moon. About 32 cents is the definition of the moon, in my opinion. If we can go to 32 cents, we will be at the moon and then we will head to other planets. So if you want to be able to trade cryptocurrencies tax free, use the iTrust Capital link, which is in the video description. And if you also want to get four free stocks worth up to four thousand dollars, use my Weeble link, deposit a hundred bucks and they will give you the free stocks, which you can immediately sell, do whatever you want with them.
So if you got something out of today's video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already, share this video with some of your friends and family, and blow up the comment section. Let's get a good discussion going, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great night. I will be posting in the Patreon alerts, updates to keep you guys updated, especially with a potential, a lot of volatility coming tomorrow. So just be prepared for that.